Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and goyles. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. Uh, where things have changed. Uh, you will recall at the end of the last episode, provided it um, got edited out that way. It should have done, but never mind. Um, we... Well, the game crashed while I was up here just talking to our Salt Strider fellow here who is perilously close to falling off this ledge. I should probably... No, that's not what I meant to do at all. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> that was it. That's better. Phew. Um, yeah, so the game crashed, and I basically that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I had had enough. Um, and so what I did was I... Um, since I've got my, my hands back on my Elder Scrolls Anthology with all its discs again, which I didn't have before, I basically just made a brand new Morrowind installation, installed all the mods again um, from scratch and um, yeah there we are uh, everything looks a little bit different now on, on account of the fact that I'm fairly sure what I've done this time is actually installed it properly <laughs> um, as opposed to before I kind of fucked it up a bit um, so I've had I haven't had long enough to test whether or not it's fixed a lot of the crashing bollocks but you know no my luck it probably won't have but on the other side, on the other hand, um, what I'm not getting is lots of uh, error messages and things. Um, everything's where it should be. There aren't so many yellow uh, exclamation marks around, although I probably will still have to fix that one with the tables again, because I forgot to redo that, but never mind. Um, so yeah, everything's pretty much the same as before, just uh, it might look a little bit different on account of me actually having installed properly this time instead of... Instead of having MGSO and Rebirth clashing horribly with one another, um, now they should be working properly in harmony. Um, I have noticed that the, the distant terrain seems to be popping in and out a bit dodgily. Uh, I don't know if that's new or not, to be honest with you, but it's not that noticeable, really. Um, so I, I'm just going to ignore it. So, yeah. Um, since the game did crash, I had to go back to when I was sleeping in, in the Fighters Guild earlier before we went running around all the shops and temples and things looking for uh, some muck. Um, so I had to go back to there and instead of obviously running around all the shops and things I just went straight to Nelcaria's house shop thing up there and I bought the muck. So we've got the muck now which means we can travel back to Saran and um, then get a boat over to the fields of Kumo Shrine and finally finish what we set out to do in the first place. Um, gosh, that's annoying, but never mind. <laughs> um, hello. Man with no shirt. Goodness me. It's took long enough, but never mind. We've done it finally. Um, are, are you the right person? No, you, you, you go to Telbrunora for some reason. Right, um... We don't want you at all. I'm guessing we want this chap with the gondola hat on. Hello. Take me to... I'm going to assume Escadian Isles region is going to be where... Yeah, here we are. This is Alof's farmhouse, right? Good stuff. Was a bit worried there. I was like, where is he taking me? <laughs> I have no idea where he's taking me. Um, anyway. Yeah, so the shrine should be over here somewhere. Here it is. We've got our portion of muck. Maybe we did find a muck shovel or whatever it's called in the end. Okay. Would you like to donate muck and ask for a blessing? Yes. The grace of humility. Thank you for your humility, Lord Vivek. I shall neither strut nor preen in vanity, but shall know and give thanks for my place in the greater world. Apparently. Well, we've done the pilgrimage. For what it's worth. Here in the fields of Kumi, Vivek, ag Vivek acted as a beast of burden for a poor farmer who could not harvest muck sponge after his guar died. Yeah, so well, anyway, yeah, we visited the shrine, we donated the muck, we said the words... Good enough. Of course, whether we said the words with any sincerity is a is a different matter entirely. <laughs> um, hello, Mr. Scrib. I want to see what this uh, 
now we're we don't really have anything to do for now. I, I want to go over here and see what this little thing here is. I can't decide what it is. It might be a fort. It almost looks like a monastery, actually. Um, to be honest. Let's, um... Do a bit of water walking. Hopefully, as a result of all this, my save game will be okay. Um, gasp? What? Okay, subtitle strangeness. Um, yeah, I uh, hopefully the save game will be okay. Um, I tried installing Rymash or whatever it's called to make sure, but uh, I couldn't get it working. So that's a job for another day, I think. But it should be okay, I think. Um, I've got all the same mods and stuff. I did get an error message when I first loaded it up about. Hello. Um. About um. What was it? Yeah, these guys are going to resist magic, so you know what? There's no point in using this sword. Might as well use this instead. Um, an error message about some sort of script not being present or whatever, um, but I, I think it'll be okay. Oh, dudes with hammers. Personal nemesis of mine. Oof. Guys with war hammers, yeah. <laughs> Terrifying, frankly. Warhammers are one of the most damaging weapons in the game, actually. I mean, that's just an iron one. It does 4 to 28 damage, which is an, uh, scary. I have a note pinned to this door with a dagger. If you can read this, it means I'm dead. Stay away and forget this place. Right. Oh, yeah, music's back. Modded music. I have noticed... Imperial Longsword, eh? That's new. Wouldn't mind one of those. Only my long, long, long laid skill's a bit shit. Where is it? Yeah, it's 21. Although, it weighs 22. That really is a lot, but... <sighs> Fine. I'll have it. I'm, f I'm figuring in my head, because uh, I, ne I need to start leveling up my long blade skill anyway, um, but I'm thinking in my head what I can do is I can whip out my longsword... Um, and use it on lesser enemies like rats and things I'm not quite so terrified of to practice it up that way. Um, which reminds me, let's set, set some hotkeys. I've not done this yet. Let's make the Demon Tanto 1. We'll make our Silver Viper Blade 2 and we can make the Imperial Longsword 3. There we go. That's quite a nice sword. That is actually, I have to admit. It's sort of like a Roman Spatha. Very cool. The only reason I know what a Roman Spather is is because I've been playing Attila Total War, but anyway. <laughs> um, that's, where's my engraved ring of healing? There we go. Um, yeah, let's... Give it a second. There we go. is this thing? Oh, it's a banner thing. Yeah, modded music's back, anyway. Um, because I've noticed that ever since I... Whoa, oh, hello. Ever since I reinstalled um, the game, um, the modded music doesn't cause me problems like it did before. I don't get little sound glitches anymore. So, I don't know why that would be, to be honest with you guys, but um, I'm just going to accept it for what it is and be glad, because I like this music. I really do. I was really bummed out that I had to take it out of the game, you know. Um, let's use the rubber of alteration for a while as well. Another Imperial Longsword. This is Arbel, apparently. It's just some nice potions. So thank you very much, missus. A couple of expensive rings, too. Which she's not going to be needing, let's be honest. Oh, hello. What are these? Imperial Steel Gauntlets. Nah. Heavy armor's just not our thing, darling. Don't you know? Imperial Studded Cuirass. Armor rating 3. Not as good as the, the, the chitin. Never mind, then. Um. Haha, <laughs> a wooden cart. Look. <laughs> My nemesis. 
ground text just seem to have improved here and there as well as a result of me re reinstalling this. Um, and also, I don't have the big ugly um, vanilla rocks anymore. Um, I mean, they're still fairly big and ugly, but they're just slightly higher definition than before. <laughs> so, that's nice, I guess. Um, right. This isn't locked, is it? It is locked. Okay, I thought it might be. Um, Alright, this only lot of opening. What does it do? 20 points, bollocks. It's not quite enough. On Deuce's unhinging. Hooray. How many more of those have I got? Oh, I think that was the last one. Okay. Um, going in here might be a really big mistake, because I feel like in a game like Morrowind, where you find a note that says stay away, you probably should. <laughs> to be honest. But, um... Let's give it a whirl anyway, I suppose. Um, have I got a cheap health potion I can... Yeah, there we go. That'll do the job. Protective spirit. Ancestral guardian. Uh, I think after reinstalling the mod, I must have activated some plugin I didn't have activated before. Because my racial powers have changed. I can summon an ancestral ghost for 30 seconds on self. As ancestral guardian. And I also have protective spirit, which is sanctuary 75 points. 10 seconds. I've still got good old moon shadow. Hmm. Oh, feather 100 points as well from the fields of Kumu thing. Right. Well, anyway, okay, we'll just we'll just roll with it. Um I have disabled the part of the Morrowind code patch thing that makes it so NPCs can use racial powers. Which might sound a bit like cheating, but honest to God, the problem with it was that every NP every Dark Elf NPC you met that was hostile would instantly use their uh, sanctuary power, and it made fighting it makes fighting Dark Elf characters, NPCs, bandits, whatever, um, ridiculously hard. <laughs> like even like the most lowly bandit can activate that power, and then you just can't hit them. Um, so I disabled it because, like, you, you know, you don't want your NPC spamming that stuff. It's not fun. Anyway, I'm going to go with shield and possibly, depending on what's in there, I might try and hit it with paralysis or I might summon some things. We'll see. But shield's definitely something I think I do want. Oh my goodness, it's dark in here. Can I use these candlesticks as light sources? I can, although they're a bit rubbish. Clegius Phalanus Log. <sighs> um, Clegius Phalanus, Champion of the Imperial Legion, 16th of Raid's Hand, 3E427. I've sent the guard near, near to you. Um, Amiolusus and the guard Astius Conciatius patrolling and investigating the area north of here at the entrance of the Fo Fo Foyada Mamea. Uh, we have received many reports from travellers and locals about rumours concerning some possible smuggling activities. Except for a couple of overly aggressive cliff races, the guards have nothing to report. Further patrolling this Further patrolling will still be needed, if only to make the road safe for travellers from aggressive wildlife. 17th rain's hands for the next day. Following the previous entry, the guard thingy and the guard what's it have been sent to investigate the cave north of here called Adan Numeru. It's just a running joke, isn't it? The names in this game. I mean, <laughs> fucking hell. Um, north of here called Thingy by. The locals. No living presence was found at the moment, although there were signs of recent activity. The guards have found a couple of empty skooma vials and a Dwemer coin. Everything was confiscated and stored here. Further investigations in the nearby caves will be begin as soon as possible. I've sent a request to Angaril, the Night Protector in Fort Pelagiad, to have reinforcement. 18th of Rain's Hand. The guards have reported of strange muffled noises coming from the north wall of the prison. Probably it's just some water infiltration from Lake Amaya or something like that. Anyway, it's nothing to worry about. The walls are pretty solid and a few drops of water won't be a problem. Personally, I've had nothing but out of the ordinary. No illegal activities to report. The patrol protected from 
a wild Kaguti, a couple of pilgrims heading to the fields of Kumu, or the Phileds of Kumu. Um, they said they were performing the pilgrimage of the Seven Graces. I guess they like me then. Despite the fact that I'm still waiting for an answer from Angaril, I've already sent the guards investigating sir, and um, other less known caves of the surroundings. Nothing suspicious to report. Once again, I've sent the guards patrolling the area nearby Thingy and Thingy. They have to deal, have had to deal with a few more rats and cliff races. No criminal activity was noted. Today we stopped a guar caravan of merchants coming from Vivek and headed to Balmora. Uh, upon first inspection and confronting the caravan's papers with actual contents, we found an ambulance! <laughs> we found some undeclared goods, specifically two steel axes, one extravagant robe, and three scrolls of the third barrier. We confiscated the items and fined them with 600 septims. They paid the fine and we let them go. Angril finally decided to grant us some reinforcements. We have a couple of spearmen and a trooper. Underwhelming to say the least. Still. Police car this time. Wow. As many. In as many seconds almost. Is that another one coming? Bloody hell, there must be something serious going down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, anyway. I can just see them from my desk where I'm sitting right now, down through my window onto the street below, and just see them driving past. Like, oh, must have been an accident somewhere. Um, anyway. We have a couple of spearmen and a trooper, underwhelming to say the least. Still, they seem to be pretty decent soldiers. We have received reports from travellers about a Breton, very likely a male, moving suspiciously around the cave known as Adenurman Thingy. I have sent Astius Con something to get together with Fort Pelagiad's reinforcements to scout the cave and clear it in case something unlawful is going on. 25th Rain's Hand. Astius and the rest of the patrol have come back. The cave turned out to be the new base of operations for smuggling Dwemer artifacts and moon sugar of a gang of petty local criminals trying to make the jump into the big league. I've updated the prison log with the names and crimes committed by every single one of them. The new prisoners are giving us some troubles, but after a couple of hours with them, they will think twice before starting troubles next time. The guards have told me that usually that usually is the guards have told me that usually is that but whatever. But Dali, Vandal, the female Dunmother, heats things up. If she doesn't calm down, I'll have to pay her some special attention. I've received a few more complaints about those deep loud noises coming from beyond the prison's north wall. The guards have come back from patrolling without anything sus suspicious to report. The roads and paths around the outpost seem to be pretty safe. On the other hand, things are getting worse down in the prison. Last night, I've been walked up by the deepest and loud. Wait, oh, he was woken up <laughs> by the deepest and loudest thing I've ever heard. Like if something deep below has exploded. This morning, me and the guard near it, near to you. Amiulusus went to check the conditions of the prison and we found a huge vertical crack in the northern wall. Just as day report, I've made it made clear to all the guards that even if it's customary in the rest of Tamriel, I will not tolerate any pranks or jokes by the divines we are soldiers of the Empire. 29th of Rain's Hand, I've got I've got waked up. Whoever right, whoever wrote this clearly their English is not their first language. Um, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I was woken up abruptly at dawn by the terrified screams of the prisoners and the guard Sully and Marius. As soon as I reached the prison, my nostrils were filled up by the foulest smell I've ever sniffed. I had to lean against a wall and I was almost puking. It was like if something dead and rotten was coming our way. What's worth is that People were going crazy about hearing sinister whispers and noises like bones scratching against the walls. If the situation gets worse, I'll have to arrange an immediate transfer to Fort Pelagiad, or at worst, Fort Moonmoth. Okay, so something pretty bad happened here. Um, evidently. Flynn. Lots of valuable books. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> levitating book. <laughs> Physics engine, lack thereof. On Morrowind. Ordo Legionis. Got a 
I'll take the valuable ones. Chest marked evidence. Lock level 45. Ah, well, I've used up my, you know, what's it called? Um, wait, that's, that's an Imperial Broadsword. How does that compare with an Imperial Longsword? 2 to 18, 2 to 22, 2 to 20, 2 to 20, 2 to 18, 2 to 18. I think the longsword is marginally better by a couple of points. Grab another candlestick, shall we? Finds marked finds. Um, okay. Outpost Renius prison log. Prisoners currently held in Outpost Renius. Fernand Riel, Breton male, fair condition. Health for smuggling, Dwemer artifacts and moon sugar. Vidali Vandal, Dunma female, good condition. Health for theft, trespassing and resisting arrest. Balam Yeneb. Fala. Uh, Dunman Mail. Currently ill. Health for smuggling Dwemer artifacts and mood sugar, kidnapping and resisting arrest. Rithleen Mirrell, Red Guard female, fair condition, held for attempted robbery, murder, and resisting arrest. Alright. I feel like it's an incredibly bad idea to go any further down here, to be honest with you. Um. I'm getting increasingly wary of going any further. I read the alteration. I just have an incredibly, incredibly sconce doesn't do anything. Incredibly bad idea. I mean, feeling. This is a bad idea, but I also have a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's a rat. They don't seem to be hostile. Well, good. It means I can train my long blade skill on you. Ha <laughs> ha! And fail miserably. Ah, oh, there we go. See, you see the damage difference. You know, it's slower to swing. Um, I don't hit as often with it because my skill's lower. But my God, does it do more damage when it hits them? See, couple am. One shot. Where's the other? I do apologise for the darkness here, viewers. I know people have been sort of having a go at me for having two dark videos, and most of the time it's totally fine. But, um, because the majority of people have commented and said, no, actually, it's fine. Um, it's just people with different monitors or whatever, apparently, having problems. But, um, yeah, it, no, I, 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 I will admit it is incredibly dark in here. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be. Morrowind is a darker game, just in general. Without, even without mods. Um, oh man, that candlesticks, there we go. I know this isn't helping much either until I get really close to things, but bear with me. I will brighten it up quite a bit in editing. Possibly more than usual in my in this particular case. Cyrodelic brandy, eh? Nice. Legions of the Dead, for my gods and emperor. Confessions of a Skooma Eater, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Alrighty then. More sconces that don't appear to do anything and yet are labelled within the game. What is that? Oh, there's a bug in this game you sometimes get where it, you, labels disappear when you hover over stuff until you open a book. Um, <laughs> very strange. Take the small, small Kwama eggs because they are reasonably light as opposed to the bloody large ones, which actually, once you've got a few of them, they add up a bit. I'm being really conscious of my weight here, because it looks like I've got like, just over half encumbered, but that's just because of the feather blessing from the Fields of Kumu Shrine. And I think that'll last about a day, but eventually it will run out. So anyway, okay. We're up here. We've got quite a view. See what I mean down there with the popping, top right corner? Yeah, I can't remember whether or not it was doing that before, to be honest, but 
I probably need to fiddle with some settings and the graphics extender, but for now that'll just have to do. Um, not a bad view from here. Oh, and look, we can see Vivek in the distance there. A big fortress-like thing in the distance. That's that's Vivek City. And there's Argenthand. At least I think it's Argenthand. Anyway, uh, what? You gotta be kidding! Oh, bollocks! How is it? How did I? Did I lock my? I locked myself out. Okay, brilliant. Oh, goodness gracious me! It's a bloody good thing I've got this uh, spell. <laughs> I really don't know if I want to go any further down into this place. Um, I think I will, just for curiosity's sake, but the second I see something big and nasty and scary, we are getting the hell out of here, and hopefully my levitate spell can run out soon so that I can move over obstacles on the ground, probably. There we go. Oh, uh, we might want something a little bit, a little bit more capable than uh, this. This will do the job nicely, I think. We have a corpse. A shelf with things on it. Well, I can barely see anything at all. As would be the case with candlelight, I, ha I hasten to point out, this is fairly realistic, I feel. I'll take these, though. More candlesticks. We're going to need them, apparently. <laughs> Since I don't have a light spell or anything like that. I do with a night eye spell, really. Actually, these these candlesticks don't appear to be actually giving off any light anyway, even if they are glowing slightly for some reason. Maybe I would be able to light these sconces somehow, but I don't know how. There's something here. I just think I think it might be a rat, though. It is a rat, yeah. Die, foul creature! Slayer of all these legionaries. <laughs> Filthy rat plague. That's what got them, surely. Um. Oops, I just picked up some repair prongs that I don't need. They can go back on there. It's in the crate. Chain gauntlets, studied curious. The legion tends to use sort of weapons and armor that I'm really not that interested in, but it's worth checking, I suppose, nonetheless. Uh, practice dummy. Oh, huh? My God, it's a practice dummy that actually works as a practice dummy. Christ, who would have thought it? That's pretty cool. I wonder if all practice dummies in the game are like this. Or is this, or is it just this one? Obviously, in the original game, they were just you know static objects. But I wonder if Morrow and Rebirth has turned them all into actual practice dummies that you can practice on. Because if so, that's pretty neat. I have to be honest. Beats uh, flailing away at rats with this thing, I suppose. <laughs> Although, if I ever do this in the future, I think I will, uh, you know, I will off-screen it, obviously. Um. Hmm. These candlesticks don't appear to be working. In fact, they disappear immediately from my inventory. I guess they've burned out or something. You know, if this runs out and I can't find another light source, then I will leave. Excuse, excuse me, ratties, please. Imperial steel helmet oh, on on spikes. Um. Is it stuck in the cobweb or something? Yep, I've had enough. Ta ta! I'm off until I'm a higher level and I've got some sort of night eye spell or light or light spell or something. Because, uh, no way, folks. <laughs> I am sufficiently creeped out. Um, 
Yeah, that's enough of that. Maybe someday we will find out what is lurking down there. But, um, not today. Definitely not today. Alright, so I guess, um... What do? Go back to Balmora, I suppose? So there we go. See Kai, see if he's finished doing all his reading. Wouldn't be such a bad idea, if you ask me. And uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe see what, what contracts are available at the pff, Fighters Guild. Can't think of it. You know, I mean, they're sometimes quite dodgy contracts, and I just, what's her name, is quite clearly corrupt as all hell, but she pays well, so. And they're usually pretty easy contracts, let's be honest. So, yeah, I think we will do that. We'll go back and probably sleep at the Fighters Guild as well, because it'll be night time by the time we arrive. Um. It's night time here, for, for, for heaven's sake, after all, so. Pretty night sky, though. The House of Earthly Delights. I know some people would be begging to see this, so. Yes. Welcome to Morrowind's one and only strip club. Uh, no. I, as you can see, I'm clearly not joking. <laughs> um... Yeah. Hey, uh, who are you? Oh, hello. Well, hey there. Fine place, this, huh? Good place for me to just forget about my troubles. No use th about. Th no use thinking about them. Stupid slaves. Why they gotta run, huh? Sure, it'd be nothing to do if they didn't. But why they gotta hide too? But I hate them all, especially the ones I can't find. You know what I mean? Of course you do. Been looking for this one, Haji, for months now. Can't find him though. Always running and hiding, running and hiding. How's a man supposed to earn his keep? I'll tell you how. Running and looking, that's how. Even if I have got a, got myself a guide, I did. Good old hides his eyes. Kind of a stupid name, if you ask me. Anyway, he's been showing me around here for a couple of weeks. For a fat load of good that's done me. Um, I could find the slave for you. For a price, you know. Ah, sure, you go ahead and look. That'll be fun for you, I suppose. Go ahead, see if I care. Hell, you can have half the reward for the stupid slave if you find him or kill him. Either one is just fine with me. Barkeep. Right, yeah. Uh, I say that dancer Morel over there, the Breton, fancies her own kind, but I haven't been able to make any progress with her these many weeks. Maybe when they say own kind, they mean female. It's just about the only explanation that makes sense. Of course it is. Uh, right, well. We've got a little side quest to do. Uh... Agree to try and find Haj A, though I don't know if I will be any more successful in the bounty hunter. Biel has said he will reward me well, giving me a share of the bounty. He had heard that Haj A had been hiding out somewhere around town, but wasn't sure exactly where. Of course, anything this man says is somewhat suspect. Well, you know what? Looks like we're going to be having to find a room for the night here in uh, Saran, actually. You have beds, so thank good. You, you you don't like me staying here, get lost. You, you're kidding, right? Come on, dude. Wow, I guess this is a natives-only establishment, and yet you have a kitchen. I, I don't, whatever. Maybe, maybe the kimono tong or something. I'm pretty, can I get a bed at the House of Earthly Delights? I, I might be able to, I don't know. Hello. Um, beds, beds, no. Bother, uh, where the hell else can I stay? Maybe the trade house? You could sometimes get rooms at a trade house. 
occasionally. Um, where is the bloody trade house then? It's over here somewhere, isn't it? Well, I could sleep at the temple, I suppose. I'm, I think I'm, I think I should be able to if I'm a member. Although, I don't know if if others would want to. <laughs> oh, a nice hat, by the way. Okay, I'm listening. Excuse me, please. You don't do beds, do you? Cock. Temple it is, then. You just watched me get arrested when I tried to sleep in a bed here. <laughs> oh, God, no, it's this temple, isn't it? I mean, I can't get in. I can't get to the downstairs at all because it's bloody locked. Um, annoyingly, it's locked level 25 as well, so my amulet of opening won't do the job. Ugh. That is just... <sighs> well... Apothecary, no, nope. Oh, our cultist friend. Who didn't prove to be very helpful in the end. Uh, Saran Slave Market. Now, that would probably be a good place to start asking questions. But, uh, not a place to sleep. Evidently. Am I just going to have to, like, pitch up a camp outside the walls or something? I probably am, aren't I? Bother. Fine, you have it your way, people of Saran. Where can I sleep? How about up on this hill here? Well, it's, uh, if we go right up to the top, a nice view everywhere, everywhere around us. This defensible position in case we get attacked by bandits. Ooh, hello. A Daedric ruin. With some wild beasts of some description marching around inside it. Is this a bit dangerous camping right next to a Daedric ruin? Maybe, I don't know. If we go over here a bit, we're protected by the... Yeah, okay, this should be okay, I think. There we go. Got a little campfire, and... Where is the bedroll? Um, looks like it's going to set itself on fire if I do that, to be honest. <laughs> Let's try... That way around. That's better. Okie doke. Right. Oh, not bad. Uh oh. This formation of clouds is worrying. The fact that it's getting progressively foggier and foggier is also worrying. I don't want to go to sleep in the middle of an ash storm. But I can't tell if it's going to be an ash storm or if it's just going to be very foggy. I guess if it was going to start ash storming, it would have started by now. Meh, whatever. Let's sleep then. Really? Really? Ugh. What enemies? Other than the ones down there, but surely they're far enough away. Is that lava? That is lava. Something's attacking me. Oh, these guys are attacking. Ugh. Have a have an ancestral ghost. And, and a bone walker as well while, while you're at it. Enjoy.
Yeah, attack the... Oh, God. Well, this was not part of the plan. I'm even... Am I being poisoned? Possibly. Oh, God. Get away. Oh, sweet mother of... That was close. Closer than I bloody thought it would be. I don't know why I just drank that. I can sleep. Ugh. Diseased Alitz. Charming. Useless bloody ghost. Why couldn't you kill them for me, eh? My god, that is lava. There's my bone walker stuck down there. Right. Ugh. No magic over it. Use this. This is intolerable. It really is. All I want is a night's sleep. That should do it. Oh, come on. It's as much as I'm going to get out of the robe. Ninety-six percent chance to cast, and I fail. I don't believe it. Needs to work this time. All right now, can I sleep, please? Or am I going to have to wait till I've stopped levitating to do that? I don't see why, since my campfire seems to be levitating anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 